Tonight, the storm rolling through San Diego is still posing a threat. The weather packed a punch overnight with more rain and whipping winds leading to a sharp rise in downed trees across the city. CBSA's Jenny Day is working for you and has what to look out for in your own yard. Jenny? Yeah, following days of rain, the ground is simply now saturated and therefore weaker, really increasing the chances of a tree coming down. I've got a big eucalyptus that's on a house that's coming out tomorrow. I've got a, a, a pine tree that's, that's leaning halfway. It's about to fall. Business has nearly tripled over the past few days for the Davy Tree Expert Company. Sometimes you see shifting and lifting in, in the root system. The local arborist I spoke to was so busy, we hopped on a Zoom in between calls. He says our beautiful eucalyptus are often the first to go. Others, like coral trees, also give way in this weather. Giant California pepper trees can have hollow trunks and you just don't know. It was a giant pepper tree that split from its trunk overnight in Shelltown, smashing the car below it and blocking off much of Newton Avenue. Neighbors say there was no warning. Lots of times when I talk to homeowners, uh, it's just, you know, we were in the other room. We hear a crash, a big boom. There are also countless claims on the city's Get It Done app, reporting down trees or simply fearing that they will fall down. Like this one I checked out earlier today in La Jolla. The resident riding the trees on the street are waving hard. May fall, please investigate. Our trees and just our entire climate over here we're not used to this so i after such a huge storm like this it is a little scary to think about so before you take a walk or let the kids out to play our experts say the top three things to look for are broken branches uprooted roots and trees that are leaning if the tree is really heavy and hasn't been pruned properly or at all, it's going to catch the wind a lot more and be more likely to break or fall. Even knowing your soil can be helpful. We have a lot of clay in Southern California that often doesn't drain well. Conditions that are too dry or in this case too wet can both create hazardous conditions. The most dangerous thing I'd say, you know, watch out for down power lines. That's a really big one. And while we have sadly found flooding isn't always covered by insurance, down trees usually are. So hire an expert and stay safe. Working for you in La Jolla, Jenny Day, CBS 8.